An unmitigated power grab by the 9-11 truth or term president of Egypt has sparked deadly riots on the streets of Cairo and beyond tonight. Over the weekend, former Muslim Brotherhood leader Mohamed Morsi essentially granted himself sweeping new powers that critics fear could allow him to become a virtual dictator. Now, while the White House continues to struggle to respond to this brash behavior from the Middle East's first elected Islamist president, well, we aren't exactly surprised by any of this. For months on end, we were sounding the alarm on this very program about the real threat posed by Morsi and his allies in the radical organization known as the Muslim Brotherhood. But, of course, our president and his unwillingness to sit down and his willingness in cases to sit down with everybody and anybody well, he ignored the obvious warning signs, including Morsi's belief that 9-11 may have been an inside job. And by the way, let's not forget, Morsi also referred to the Israelis as animals. Instead, the president applauded what he called, quote, genuine democracy. Remember this. The people of Egypt have spoken. Their voices have been heard. And Egypt will never be the same. For Egyptians have made it clear that nothing less than genuine democracy will carry the day. Well, wrong again. That genuine democracy that the president spoke of is now fading fast in Egypt, and sources have confirmed to Fox News that mobs are preparing to return to the streets of Cairo tomorrow for yet another day of demonstrations. Joining me now with more on this is Act for American President Brigitte Gabriel and from the American Together Foundation, Michael Gauss is back with us. You know, Michael... Good to be with you. Here's a guy that refers to the Israelis as animals supports Hamas in this latest conflict. The Hamas charter calls for the destruction of Israel. And you were on this program telling me everything's going to be fine. This is democracy. Now the radical Islamist has grabbed all the power and Obama is giving him credibility. Now tell me you still support what happened in Tahir Square is a good thing. Sean, you have been right on that particular issue. But I'm very hopeful about the Egyptian people. They're not going to let this radical Mohammed Mosri take over the power from them. He already them. has. He they has voted called him himself, power. You, they've already he lost. Has called him, he has called himself God. He has called himself a pharaoh. But you got three things against him, Sean. The military is against him. The, the jurists are against him. The protesters, the Egyptian people are against so him. So you're saying, that, what, fact, so what, are they going to rise up against him, assassinate him, get rid of him? I don't absolutely. see it. Absolutely. 200 people, uh, protesters, are wounded in a demonstration against this Morsi guy. And I think it will continue. Right. People will win at the end. I am very hopeful about that. Listen. They fought for this I freedom. I share your hope. They're not just going to let, they're not just going to let Morsi walk away with this. Morsi is a very dangerous man right now, Sean. Brigitte, and you are right about it. Isn't, well, I was right. You told me he would turn out to be moderate, and uh, you didn't turn out he so did, well. He did Mo not. I think the greater... He the did not. Bridget, I think the greater likelihood, tell me if I'm wrong, is that we're going to see people mowed down and oppressed that if they rise up against this radical Islamist. What's the more likely outcome? Uh, that's exactly what's going to happen. Those who are rising against him are going to be mowed down. We are witnessing right before our own eyes a revolution like the Iran Khomeini revolution in 1979. And let's not forget also, Sean, that it was the majority of the people in Egypt that elected Morsi, elected the Muslim Brotherhood, and gave the Muslim Brotherhood as well as the Noor, the Salafist party, over two-thirds of seats in the parliament. Over 70 percent of the people in Egypt want Sharia law. All all surveys uh, show that the minority are demonstrating, but we are witnessing before our own eyes a dictatorship in the making and an Islamic right. theocratic Brigitte, di dictatorship at that. Let me, let me ask you this. In this latest conflict with Israel, in your opinion, did President Obama and Secretary of State uh, Hillary Clinton, did they give this radical Islamist a win and did they help give credibility to Hamas, whose charter calls for the destruction of Israel? giving billions in aid. Did they give them a win? Uh, yes, they did, because what this administration is blind to is the fact that Hamas is an offshoot of the Muslim Brotherhood. Hamas looked at Morsi with respect, because Morsi is a leader in the Muslim Brotherhood. So basically, we have the Morsi-Hamas camp coming together and fooling the Israelis in the world and establishing a truce or a hudna. It's a lull in the fighting, so Hamas can rearm itself, can re-strengthen, and a few months later yep. or maybe a year right. later, they're going to come back into a confrontation. I agree with you. I I 
think it was, I think Obama and Clinton gave Hamas and Morsi a win here. Here's the question, Michael. Yes. Why don't we cut off any aid to Egypt unless and until they have real democracy? Would that be fair? I am. I am with you, and it is fair. But remember, Charles Krauthammer was on your show a few months ago. He was against it because it's going to hurt the relationship between Israel and Egypt. It is from that point of view, he was not in favor of that. And you agreed with him that time. And I am with you on that. We need to stop the aid if they don't behave. Well, they're not behaving. And Obama, well, we need to Obama stop sending we Hillary Clinton. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. We need they're to stop not behaving, it and they're not listening, they are abusing the funds. I agree. I agree, Bridget. And that's why we have a control. We can stop the funding and have them come to the Washington, D.C. and lay out the rules. These are the ground rules for you to receive the funding from us. If you don't do this, we are not going to give the funding. We're right. not going to support you either. Guys, good to see you both. Uh, our country needs the money more than Egypt. Great point. <laughs> Very good point. We do need the money more than Egypt.